Goddess is not included. <laughs> Imagine living in one of those places. Well, realtor to the stars, John McQuilkin, who is in LA for us this morning, knows all about it. Good morning to you, John. Now, Aaron Spelling's house was one of the most expensive in the world at $150 million, but it just went for a bargain, didn't it, at $85 million? Uh, Yeah, it really did at $85 million, but even at $85 million, would you want that? It was enormous, <laughs> wasn't it? Just... That present wrapping room could come in really <laughs> handy. The it, tissue paper yeah. can be such a mess. It was ridiculously big, you know? <laughs> yeah. Indeed. There are reports <laughs> that the buyer, Petra, actually had her eye mm -hmm. on an estate down the road called Fleur de Lis, which sounds very LA confidential. Yes, she mm. did. Yes, she did. Now, that home is just e enormous as well. What does a 22-year-old need with a house that big? Even though I'll be glad to sell it to her, but come on now. <laughs> That's extraordinary, isn't it? Now, <laughs> elsewhere, that Porsche, Porsche De Rossi and Ellen DeGeneres are asking $60 million for their place. Where mm -hmm. are they moving to? That is correct. Well, you know, they haven't decided yet where they're going to move. But the thing is about Porsche and Ellen is they love real estate. They love buying houses and fixing them up. And I think originally when they bought that compound, they thought it would be fun to have all those houses. Now I think they're just realizing, number one, it's a lot of upkeep. And number two, mm. this is a chance to make a profit. So that's why I think they're moving on. Well, I'm not buying. You've seen the place. Carpets are threadbare. Yeah, that's the problem. Awful. I, I know. <laughs> they, have a lot of, they have a lot of and pets in there. Do yeah, they? Yeah, exactly. that, that's why the, the carpets are threadbare. Uh, uh, now, uh, do they get extra for their houses because of the name that's associated with them? No, no, ab absolutely not. Um, they might sell a little bit quicker, but they're not going to get extra for them. I mean, look how long Candy Spelling's home's been on the market. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Now, look, mm -hmm. just the word, the, what we need to know about uh, right now is, is Maria Shriver and Arnie. Are, right. they, are they selling their right. home? <laughs> okay, here's the thing. If they get a divorce, most likely they're going to sell the home. Yeah. And I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret that oh, yeah. nobody knows about. <laughs> oh, yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger, in the master bedroom, oh, dear. there are his and her walk-in closets. And Arnold Schwarzenegger, in the back of his closet, there is a secret trap door which leads directly to the maid's quarters. Oh, really? Are you kidding? Completely made this up, John. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Arnold, Arnold, do not sue me. I am just kidding. I'm, I'm going to spread it anyway. I'm going to say that John told us. <laughs> I know. All right, John. Well, okay, I, I, so, feel, yeah. I feel for candy spelling, don't you? I've been unable to yeah. sell the house for $150 million, having to settle for 85 oh. Everyone's been there. Buy it. Peek, sell it the Look at candy. Terrific. Is there anything she could have been called other than candy? It is yeah. perfect, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> Short of bubble gum. Yeah. It's the perfect name for her. All right, John. Look, thank you yeah, very much for really your time. Is. We appreciate it. You know what? It's been a lot of fun. Thank you very much, guys. I'll see you next time. Entirely okay. our pleasure. Coming up, Saturday's top showbiz news, including Gaga's Edge. I thought we were missing out on Gaga today, but no. Her brand new video. You'll see it here first. Plus, Susan on stage. It was only a matter of time. Tommy Taylor tells all.